So Pierre Polyev just demolished the entire Liberal caucus. Got a really interesting video for you, for you, uh, for you guys to see. I saw it earlier, but I really want to react to it with you guys because it's just, you know, a lot of people get mad at Pierre Polyev yeah, because he's too much of an attack dog, but this is why you need it. So let's just check this out and then we'll, uh, we'll talk about it after like usual. You see the case of the dirtbag Tibor Organo who shot a police officer in the stomach yesterday while he was out on bail after having been arrested for two dozen offenses he committed while he was out on probation. Let's get this straight. He's out on probation for many crimes. He gets arrested for violating probation, so he gets released on bail and shoots a police officer. When will this government finally accept that their hug-a-thug catch-a-release system is putting our people at risk? Mr. Speaker, our hearts go out to the police officer because no police officer should be hurt in the line of duty. But Mr. Speaker, what is extremely concerning is what the leader of the opposition is doing in this house today, where he is trampling the charter rights of Canadians. Whether it is in this house, whether it is outside, Canadians need to be extremely alarmed about the fact that when it comes to their rights, his first instinct is to trample over them. I think you have a charter right to get released after two dozen offenses while you're already on probation and shoot a police officer in the stomach. I'm more worried about the charter rights of the police officer who's re recovering from the gunshot. <laughs> said almost everyone we arrest is out on bail no one stays in jail where they belong the city and the feds just don't care it just doesn't bother them it doesn't matter how many die and if a cop gets shot right. what's wrong with you people yeah. good question pierre now i don't know much time how much time you have to dissect what's actually wrong with these people because there's so many things but what Karina Gould said there is just, it's hard to describe an actual, like to find an actual adjective to describe how insane that is. For a liberal MP of all people to talk about how, oh, look what they're going to do. They're going to trample all over your rights. Actually, that does kind of sound familiar. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. Remember when Justin Trudeau illegally invoked the Emergencies Act during the lockdowns? Remember that? And for all of these liberal simps who want to disagree with me, think about this for a second. The Toronto Star published an uh, article showing that the federal court actually agrees with people like me and that it was absolutely illegal and that they absolutely broke our Charter of Rights. The federal court of Canada agrees with the fringe minority, liberals. Bet you weren't ready for that, were you? Now, of course, your boy's probably not going to go to jail because it's going to get escalated to the Supreme Court. It will be very, very difficult for the Supreme Court of Canada to throw a prime minister or former prime minister in jail. Um, it's what he deserves. And not to mention all these other scandals. I mean, it's crazy how corrupt this liberal government is. And for them to say, well, Canadians need to be warned about what the opposition... No, no, no. Canadians need to be warned about what you guys are doing and how corrupt you are. And again... I don't believe these people are stupid for one second. I think it's evil. They know exactly what they're doing. They know that it's confession by projection. When they say worry about what the conservatives are doing, that's because that's what they plan to do. And that's what they did. So for Karina Gould to say something that absurd, it makes no sense. And again, I know she's not stupid. I went to high school with her. She's very, very intelligent. When if you see someone who is that intelligent saying something that ridiculous... That doesn't make sense. She's not stupid. I promise you guys, she is not stupid. Has she just been indoctrinated by this liberal idea? I don't know. I don't know if she knows exactly how bad it is, or maybe she's got it in her head. Like, no, 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 we're on the good. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything bad about her. Like, she's specifically evil. But then again, she's not stupid. And it's either one or the other. It's either they're stupid or they're evil. So maybe she is. Again, I, don't, I didn't make this channel to come out and throw personal insults at people that I went to school with. However, no one else that I went to school with has done anything like this. To be a liberal MP in the city that we grew up in, and to, again, you know, the, the left has gone from being liberal to just this far left, 
I don't know what it's not liberal. Like the, the 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 far left, they're not liberals anymore. I don't know what they are. Communist wannabes, totalitarians, lots of different ways you can describe it. But it's, it's absolutely insane that she would just go and say that, especially when you're talking about an officer who got shot. What about his charter of rights? Like Pierre Polyev responded perfectly. Now again, I wish he would have brought up what happened during the lockdown. I don't know why he didn't, but then again, it wasn't really about the lockdown. I don't think he wanted to change the subject. He just wanted to you know, make it very clear that look what's happening to police officers and citizens in this country. The liberals have done nothing but take away our rights. That that co- that that person who shot the cop deserved to be in jail. And he wasn't, and that's why this cop is now shot. And he almost got murdered. Thankfully, he's okay. But this kind of shit has to stop. It's it's nonsense what's happening to this country. Canada used to be much safer and much more affordable, and it's not. And that's what Pierre Polyev needs to do. Now, I do also have another... Um, looks like he made another little mini ad here I want to show you guys because it's pretty good. Sorry, just uh, loading this up here. Okay. All right, let's check it out, and then we'll talk about this briefly after as well. Feels like we're a long way from home in Canada. With costs so high, streets so dangerous, people so poor, after nine years of Trudeau and the NDP liberals. But common sense can take us home. I'm conservative leader Pierre Polyev. My plan will mean hard work earns a powerful paycheck that buys affordable food and houses in safe neighborhoods in the country we know and love, Canada. Let's bring it home. So, you know, it's pretty basic ad, certainly not like one of the better, you know, ads that he had earlier uh, this year. But that being said, he kind of just made the point that I made. It used to be safe. It used to be affordable and paychecks used to be worth something. If you made a couple thousand dollars a month, you were doing pretty good. I know because when I was 19, that's what I made. And it was fine. We could, I could afford a one bedroom apartment pretty easily. With a, a leasing a car and paying what it, young people pay for insurance plus gas, you know, the, the car is going to cost you about what your rent does. But even then, after all that, you'd still have seven, eight hundred dollars left a month. Right. If your rent seven hundred and say your car's around six hundred and you made two grand a little bit more, you've got six, seven hundred dollars left over. You could have a little money to save, a little money to spend. Groceries were way, were way more affordable. Not to mention if you were like me and you were living with a girlfriend at the time, it was like, I mean, it was, I mean, it was just easy street, right? So for a young couple back then, financially, if both people were just working any job full time, you were going to make 3,500 to two grand or to four grand a month. And when rent's only 750 bucks or less, you can easily afford your two cars. You can easily afford insurance. You didn't have to worry about going outside at night. And no, it's not because of toxic masculinity. It's because we don't have good enough uh, federal law programs where these people who are um, uh, basically committing federal crimes, they're getting out on bail instead of being in jail. And now they're hurting people. Now people are scared to go outside. I live in the center of, center of Hamilton. There's not a lot of people just walking around at night anymore, and especially now that nighttime is coming a little bit earlier with these seasons changing. You're going to see people, you know, running into their homes at five, six o'clock at night when they get home to work and they're going to be looking over their shoulders because they're worried. And again, I'm not trying to fear monger. It's a real concern in this city. It's a real concern if you live in Toronto. Used to be safe, used to be affordable. Now it sucks. It's embarrassing when I hear people from America or the UK. Well, I guess the UK doesn't have much to say right now, but any of these other countries, they're just like, man, what happened to you guys in Canada? used to be cool. It's like some of us still are, but some of us have been so indoctrinated, especially pre-pandemic. And now that we're coming out of the pandemic, seems like a lot more people are waking up, right? I do polling updates all the time. I'll be doing one again on Sunday, maybe even earlier if there's another one that comes out. Just to highlight the fact that Canada is waking up. We are going back over to the conservatives and not just in a slight way. It's going to be a major majority. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, What do you think of Karina Gould's comments what do you think about Pierre Polyev's domination of the entire Liberal caucus? I love that at the end there. What's wrong with these people? It's Yeah. Yeah, what is wrong with them, Pierre? 
And I want you guys to answer that as well. What's wrong with these people? What, is it a mental illness? Are they evil? Like, like, what's going on here? Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. And I'll be back shortly with a new video.